Christian for quite a few weeks now every Wigan Athletic fan that interacts with us online has said announce Walt and get it announced you're finally here just how pleased are you to get it sorted yeah obviously absolutely delighted um, following on from last season uh, the season we had obviously it didn't start well for me getting injured so early on but uh, coming back in December and then kicking on for the remainder of the season it was it was an unbelievable unbe unbelievable season individually and collectively as a team so no I'm really looking forward to the challenge of, of championship football did it sort of just make sense to come back? Did it, did it just does it just fit for you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, it means I don't have to settle in with a new with a new team. Uh, get to know another group of lads, staff, uh, fans, and and obviously playing playing for a new club is is always difficult for the first the initial first few games. So no, it's going to be an easy transition me coming back here and, and what I'm looking forward to. Important to stress, you very much see yourself one day as Brighton's number one goalkeeper, yeah. but. Equally so, this is the next step for you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, that's my that's my aim, uh, main aim uh, for for my career is to play Premier League football, um, as it is probably for most most lads. Um, so no, getting back to Brighton and being their number one is my aim. But this is going to be a good good uh, good season for me to, to go from League One, uh, play Championship football week in week out, and then I've obviously done League Two, League One, and Championship. So the ultimate progression is Premier League football. So the memories from last season, I'm sure. They sort of play a part, you know, some special yeah. nights, even to the extent the Southampton game, you know, you make that penalty save and, you know, you're in the national spotlight for that. All the memories you made, FA Cup, League One, did they play a massive part in coming back? Yeah, of course. Like I said, it was it was such a good season last year for everyone. Um, so me coming back here with so many good good memories and, and having a good relationship with all the fans at the club, um, it was a no-brainer really. Um, obviously, we had some we had some great nights of football last year. The, the Man City is a massive highlight, and, and obviously when we beat Oxford at home to get the vital three points that took us clear, things like that. It's just it will live live long in the memory. So no, uh, looking forward to the season. You mentioned the great relationship with the fans, but equally so the players and manager. Here, just so you turn to Paul. Cook just before it's a great group isn't it and the, the people around the place who make it very easy for you to come here yeah it's a great club um, from from the fans right the way through to cleaners whatever uh, so no it was good and obviously working week in week out with Nick, Nick Colgan and uh, the other keepers at the club obviously we have a cl close knit group here um, so that's one I'm, I'm looking forward to working with again and um, hopefully we can have another good season fixtures were announced on Thursday what does that sort of does that build the excitement for you now, just because you see who you play in Sheffield Wednesday at home first game? Yeah, I think everyone looks forward to that. Um, obviously, there's some big teams in the, in the league this year, so it's going to be going to be a great season for for everyone. Um, obviously, the fans going to some some big grounds, and it's going to be a really good test for us and playing in front of a, a lot more people than in League One at away grounds and playing at some really really big grounds steeped with a lot of history. So I'm looking forward to it.